Roger, you're very good at unbuilding these campaigns after it happens. You had a very interesting <laughs> thing of what you did during the primary season between uh, Clinton and Obama. It was a it was a book, and somehow you didn't publish it yet as a book. You did the same thing with Dean's campaign in 04. Let me ask you this about the McCain campaign. Who wakes up every morning and says, how am I going to get more votes today? Not message, not get up and talk about TV average, but who gets up and says, i got to find 2,000 more votes in X precinct today? That's the trouble. We haven't found that person yet. And it was the trouble for Hillary Clinton, too. I mean, you, you can't overestimate how important it is that Barack Obama was once a community organizer. He believes in organization, even though Sarah Palin attacked it for him. In his earliest stump speeches to his speeches most recently, he praises his organizers who are in the crowd. He meets with them before and after the rallies. This is a campaign... It, you know, it's not just the polls that are driving the commentary that we think it's going to be a bad night for John McCain. It's the two-thirds of the iceberg you can't see. It's the ground organization. It, it, it's the field organization. It's the ground game. And that is where Barack Obama may have the most impressive field organization in modern Democratic history. His people all talk in numbers, in precincts, in districts, in states. And on the other side, as you just observed, you don't find anyone in the opposition who's talking about that. They talk about message and enthusiasm and positioning, but they don't talk about the nitty-gritty stuff that targets voters, gets them out on election day, and that in the modern era uh, is what wins and loses elections.